Morning peeps, good morning everyone, how's everyone doing? Hopefully you guys are all doing well. Don't forget if you're new to the channel, like, share, subscribe. Uh, I did say on yesterday's video that we are closing in fast on 45,000 subs. And as a thank you, I thought I would do a little giveaway, nothing too big, but we're gonna give away some trainers. I've become somewhat of a trainer collector and I don't know why, because I don't wear them. But yeah, we're gonna give away an Air Max, an Air Jordan, and I'm thinking of adding another Air Jordan as well so yeah uh, we're going to give away three pairs of trainers as soon as we hit that magical forty-five thousand sub number uh these are size nine by the way as well i think because they're brand new um to be fair i've collected them from different shops over the world but i do think you might be able to take them back to any shop and change the size i don't know i don't know you guys will have to look into that but yeah as soon as we hit forty-five thousand, i'll let you know how you can win them it's going to be very random um there isn't going to be a case of any special question it's just going to be a case of i pick a name out the hat and i either post them to you or you come and meet me and collect them from i don't know uh the zone head office or talk sport head office but yeah we're going to give some trainers away for the forty-five thousand number so thank you to everyone that has recently subscribed all right let's see what there is to talk about today um, i'm actually going to go and interview aj i'm looking at the time i'm going to interview aj in a couple of hours uh, a long sit down which is good I don't feel like you can get much out of someone when you're talking for 10 minutes and there's other people in the room and everyone's waiting and you someone's you know sometimes I see it as well when those a lot of the YouTube guys are interviewing there's always a guy there that's tapping them on the shoulder like okay you need to rap and I feel like they're just getting into it they're just getting into it just getting into the meat of it and they've got to like rap because most of them can only get 10 minutes Coogan gets a bit longer but most of them 10 minutes I think I'm doing like an hour sit down with AJ so hopefully um hopefully it's good uh Derek Chisora on Joshua versus White rematch AJ is fucked if he loses yeah yesterday was the press conference I did the face off as well which was um interesting obviously there isn't much I can tell you about it because you've got to watch it um but um yeah it might you know it was a bit of a throwback I remember um me and Ryan watching Ryan's a guy used to have another YouTube channel with called Box Talk for those of you that don't know and we were sitting down watching Johnny Nelson do a fantastic job of stirring the pot between AJ and White they were a lot younger back then that was nearly eight years ago um and I feel like a, a lot a lot more especially Dylan White a lot more aggressive I don't think Dylan White's as aggressive anymore back then I mean Dylan White was a short fuse like just that and he'll go um, I think we've seen that with him and Chisora and the back and forth that they had. Uh, now they're just a lot more mature. But yeah, it was an interesting uh, face-off. I don't know. I'm guessing it's going to come out soon. Bear in mind the fight's only, we've only got, what, five weeks to go. So it will come out very, very soon. But it was um, it was a bit surreal to do it. Obviously, I've done Ben Eubank. I've done Boatsy, Richards. But this was a big one. This felt like a big one as well. What you guys don't see, obviously, is the amount of people in the room watching. So we've actually got security there. Security there. I think there's about four or five security guards because you just don't know with these two. You don't know. Four or five security guards. Then you've got all of Dillian White's people, a few of AJ's people, some of the Zones people, Matchroom people, all the cameramen, the sound guy. I would say there was about 40 to 50 people in the room. And that's a bit of pressure. It's a bit of pressure to deliver when there's that many people in the room or watching you intently, like, come on, what's gonna, what, what's gonna happen? Um, and you've got to think off your feet as well. Like you ask a question, and you're hoping you're gonna get a really long response. And sometimes, you know, it's like a one-word answer, and you're like, oh, I've got to ask another question very quickly. So, um, yeah, it was, it was, um, it was testing, but um, I think you guys are gonna enjoy it. I think, um, I think it's, I think it was fun. It was fun to do. And again, look, it'll be out in a couple of weeks. As for the presser, um, again, both of them just a bit different, like, especially Dillian White. I think AJ kind of is AJ. I'm trying to think. He's kind of the way he is. Dillian White's the one that was, you know, in the past, very, very aggressive. Um, and I think we saw signs of that. There's a couple of things he said, um, but it didn't really spark, did it? It didn't really kind of like, oh, this anything could happen here. Eddie tried his best, but it didn't really. Um, but look, we've, we've got, I think, speaking to a lot of people that were there, I was speaking to Barry Jones and Spencer Oliver and, you know, a lot of the boxers, so maybe not the general public, but a lot of the boxers think that we've got a good fight here. Like, um, 
Dylan White, we know, kind of fights one way. Buddy McGurk's trying to change and add to that, but he fights one way, which is just straight, isn't it? It's very aggressive. It's very straight. Technically, it might not be good, but he's a, a brawler. He's a, it, when you think of a brawler, you're thinking of a Dillian White, especially in the heavyweight division. He's that. AJ's a bit more technical now. Um, but I do think that Dillian White's going to put it on AJ to the point where AJ might revert to being a bit of a brawler as well. It might be a bit like the first fight. Not not as explosive, but I think it will get to that. Um, they clearly have a lot of respect for each other now. Um, obviously, look, AJ's beat Dillian White. Both of them have suffered defeats. They know what it's like to lose in big, big matches. Uh, AJ to Usyk and Ruiz, Dylan White to Tyson Fury. So I think there's there's a bit of a respect there. So I think it will be cagey because both of them have suffered what a knockdown feels like, what a knockout feels like as well. So um, yeah, I expect it to be cagey, but I expect it to be a good fight. It has sold out already. And I guess you've always got to be careful when you say things like it's been sold out because we, we know there is these, and I hope this isn't the case. I hope it's genuine individuals that have bought these tickets. Do you know what I mean? Like 20,000 individuals have bought 20,000 tickets, not these companies that buy 2,000, then put them on the black market and then resell them. I hope that isn't the case. And um, I hope that if that is the case, that can be stamped out very quickly because you've got good fight fans that want to see this fight. Um, O2 Arena, again, an amazing venue. Uh, good atmosphere once it's full. When it's full, it's really, really good. When it's not, obviously, it's a bit... It's just too big, right? When when you have to section off parts of the O2, as we have done um, in, in recent fights, it's just, it's just, let's just go to a smaller venue. Like, what are we doing? Like, when there's 8,000 in there, what's the point? But when you've got 20,000 in there and it's going to be noisy and it will with these two, I think it's going to be a really, really good atmosphere. Um, I did push both of them on the Deontay Wilder fight. Um... Dylan White didn't really care too much about it. Like, I don't care. I think Dylan White's just there to, to cause an upset and make his money and hopefully he's getting paid well. Whereas AJ is almost like just fully focused on Dillian White. And I was like, well, what did I say? I said, well, you can't be fully focused on Dillian White when you, you, you your team's planning a Deontay Wilder fight. And I pushed him on that. He's like, my team is planning it. I'm not planning it. My team is doing what they should do behind the scenes. I'm not doing it. Um, so, yeah. I'm looking. I'm looking forward to. It. I don't know if, if an undercard has been announced. Um, there were some rumors uh, potentially about Chisora getting on the undercard. I don't know how true that is. Um, he did look in shape, like really in shape when I saw him. Um, it's funny. Someone pulled me up on this actually. That that was there. I'm not going to mention his name. There was a former fighter there that I respect a lot, and he said, "Ade man, I hate when you say that fighters should retire. Like we as fighters." We're different. And it's true what he said. Like, obviously, I'm not a fighter. But it's like, we as fighters are different. Like, you know, you shouldn't be saying that we should retire all the time. We just want to fight. And I'm like, I get that. But as a fan of you, um, I sometimes, when I feel like the end is near, I'd rather just see you do other stuff than get punched in the face. Um, yeah, so we kind of just had a, almost like a gentleman's agreement. that like maybe I won't always say fighters should retire. But he has to understand that when I'm saying it, I'm not saying it from a standpoint of I don't care about you. It's more a case of I care about you and I don't want to see you get hit anymore. That's my standpoint. But um, look, it was it was a good day yesterday. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed doing stuff with Darren Barker. Very good guy. And today we do more stuff. Today we do more stuff with AJ. I think he flies back. I think Dillian White flies back tomorrow as well. Remember, Dillian White's based in Florida. And AJ's based in Texas. I did ask, who did I speak to? I was speaking to Spencer Oliver. I said, how is it that all of our top heavyweights, all of them, all of our top heavyweights, don't have British trainers? They've all got American or American-based trainers. Joe Joyce, American-based trainer. Um, um, who else has got? Uh, Chisora. Sorry, Chisora. Dillian White, obviously, Buddy McGurk. AJ, Derek James. Tyson Fury, um... Sugar Hill, all got American trainers. Is that what? What does that mean about, or what? What does that mean, or what are they saying about our British trainers? Because I think we've got some really good British trainers. Or is it a case of they want to go, and just almost be in a different space? So going to America is a good space. I don't know. I don't know what it is, but yeah, interesting. Um, okay, uh, Froch erupts over Fury and Garnu. Absolutely load of shit. We don't want that fight. Yeah, it's not that we don't want that fight. We would prefer to see other fights. I don't, I'm not 
got to not watch Fury versus Ngannou. We're going to probably do a live watch along if we can't get a ticket. Um, but it's, I want to see Fury versus other people first. Like, say what you want to say about Dillian White, AJ. I know some of you are like, well, it's not a top fight. It's two boxers. <laughs> it's two boxers fighting, right? Um, Dubois, Usyk, or Usyk Dubois. We saw the face off the other day. It's two boxers. Like, say, even if you think it's a drop-off, at least fight, boxers are fighting boxers as they await their big fights. Fury's fighting Ngannou, who technically is not great at boxing. Uh, Shakur Stevenson, tired of waiting, uh, contacts WBC to order Devin Haney mandatory fight. I knew this was coming. Um, I, I think he wanted to see if he could somehow broker a deal with Devin, which works in his favour in terms of a split. Maybe he was looking at a 65-35. Obviously, if he goes for the mandatory route, it's going to be less. The split will be less. It will be. Uh, they'll try and negotiate, but it will be less. So he's decided, you know what, fuck that. Let, let's let's go that route. Even if I take a hit on the money, I want to fight you, and they're going to go down that route. Uh, it's good. I don't mind that at all. Um, what's this? Uh, Bam Gardner, Lina Dartu 2. Really looking forward to this. Don't know what Lina dartu has got. If, if Lina... Like, remember Linodatu beat Baumgardner. Uh, Linodatu caused a lot of problems to Katie Taylor as well. Tough, tough as old boots. But uh, she has had a baby um, a year and a half ago, two years ago. She was supposed to fight Michaela Meyer. She couldn't get sanctioned because of, I think, an issue of her contact lenses or I don't know what it was, but it wasn't, it wasn't nothing too bad. Hence why she's jumped into this. I just don't know if she's still that. And hopefully she is. If she is, it's a good fight. If she isn't, Baumgardner might be able to steamroll her. Uh, Mark Castro's injured, um, so he's fights off, obviously. And Jermaine Franklin has got a new opponent on, what, three days' notice. Yeah. Um, uh, Jermaine Franklin here spoke about the Joshua White fights, and AJ will beat White. It won't even be a hard fight. Oh, pff. I mean, in order for me to get excited about the Wilder fight, I think we if you're an AJ fan or you're, you're behind AJ, you want him to look really good against Dillian White. Like, you want it to be clean as a whistle. I don't know if it will be. Um, I hope it is, but we'll see. We'll see. We haven't got long. Again, we haven't got long at all. Five weeks. Um, this is in... I like this. I like this. Uh, from Dubois. I like... Sometimes... You know Dubois, yeah? He doesn't say a lot, but when he speaks... It's almost become that guy, like when he speaks, he, he says it's quite strong. And this is quite strong. Uh, Usyk has been a great champion, but everything with a beginning has an end. It's like a fucking, it's like a Batman line, isn't it? It's great. Um, uh, seven and a half percent chance. Ten ten percent chance, give him a ten percent chance. Um, Hearn on Joshua White is the biggest fight for the zone so far here in the UK. Yeah, I guess it will be. Um, it's 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 the first pay per view. Yeah, it's the zone's first pay per view over here. Um, biggest fight? Yeah, I think it will be. Yeah, probably is. Probably is. There's not there's not been big A League Premier League fights like that, is there? So I think this yeah this will be the one. Um, all right, I think. We are done. We are done. Guys and girls, I'll let you know about the trainer giveaway. Um, I'm going to keep it a secret as to what trainers are in there. That's a surprise. Oh, in fact, no, I'll show you when we do the giveaway. But for now, for now, it's an Air Max. It's an Air Jordan. And we are likely to add one more as well. It's not bad. It's not bad, you know. These weren't cheap, you know. These weren't cheap. 